Yo, it's your boy Mo coming at you from my balcony here in Medellin, Colombia. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about low testosterone in men. More specifically, we'll be talking about the real causes of this generational decline in testosterone levels. We'll be talking about what this means for you. And then we'll talk about what steps you can take to naturally optimize your Level. So in a study published in the Journal of Endocrinology and Metabolism, researchers recruited 1,500 men living in the greater Boston area between 1987 and 2004. They collected three blood samples from each of these 1,500 men and uh, compared them to the overall sample size. And what they found was that the average testosterone level in men during this time period in their sample size declined by 1.3% every single year from 1987 to 2004. Now, assuming that this trend has maintained its pace rather than sped up, which is highly unlikely, the average man in 2018 has more than 25% lower testosterone levels compared to the average man from 1987. Now, this is a pretty huge dip and, and what's really interesting about the findings from the study is that this decline took place independently of factors such as age, uh, obesity and smoking and they accounted for a bunch of other lifestyle factors as well. Now due to all this uh, marketing hype and media we tend to associate older age with declining testosterone levels but what's interesting in this finding as I mentioned already is that this decline took is taking place independently of age and other lifestyle factors all right now in another study which was also published in the journal of endocrinology and metabolism researchers again recruited about 1400 men living in the greater boston area between the ages of 30 and 79 i think it was or 74 something like that and uh, what they found was that more than 24 percent of this sample size had total testosterone levels below 300 nanograms per deciliter all right that's nearly one in every four men over the age of 30 that was found to have low testosterone levels now the caveat here in these two studies is that they were they included a specific sample size of men that lived in a specific region of the world which was the greater boston area but given the size of the sample subjects like more than like more than 1400 in both of these studies i would say that it is statistically significant and the thing is that these studies have not been carried out in other countries so we cannot say for sure whether this trend would apply globally but looking at uh, the general population i would say that uh, the average man today definitely has much lower testosterone levels compared to the average man from just a few decades ago so what does this decline mean what is this generational decline in testosterone levels how does it manifest itself well there's not one aspect of your physical mental or emotional health that's not impacted by testosterone so the following symptoms that I'm going to talk about now are a common side effect of having suboptimal testosterone levels before diving in I need to grab my sunglasses because the Sun just uh, kind of emerged out of nowhere so be right back so the first common side effect of having low levels of testosterone which is a trademark side effect is having low levels of energy all right so if you feel like you have difficulty crawling out of bed in the morning despite getting enough sleep the previous night then that might mean that you're suffering from having suboptimal levels of testosterone now the second common side effect of having low testosterone is a decrease in bone mineral density now a lot of men don't know this but testosterone actually plays a critical role in maintaining your bone health all right and the way that it does this is because testosterone encourages bone mineralization and actually slows down bone resorption all right and it's, uh, studies have found that men with low levels of testosterone to be at an increased risk of fracture or bone damage and in extreme cases men with low levels of testosterone also have an increased risk of developing osteoporosis now the third common side effect of having low levels of testosterone is an increase in body fat now multiple studies have found that men with higher levels of body fat have significantly lower levels of testosterone now the relationship goes both ways because not only does low levels of testosterone encourage your body to store more body fat, 
but more body fat actually encourages your bo uh, body to produce less testosterone because body fat produces an enzyme called aromatase which converts testosterone into the female sex hormone estrogen. And that brings us to the fourth common side effect of having low levels of testosterone and that is a decrease in libido and sex drive. Now, testosterone is the primary male sex hormone and probably the most common side effect that guys actually discover once they start to uh, acquire the knowledge in order to increase their testosterone is a decrease in libido and also erectile dysfunction to some extent. Now the exact relationship between erectile dysfunction and testosterone is not exactly known because a lot of guys are sometimes suffering from psychological aspects of it because of watching too much porn or some other issues that they're dealing with like emotional baggage from the past. That's the topic of a whole different video. But the bottom line is that if you are not having the sexual desire that you want, then it's possible that suboptimal testosterone levels are a contributing cause. And the final common symptom of low testosterone that we we'll talk about in this video is a decreased in muscle and strength gains. All right. Now, testosterone has been associated. I mean, probably the most common association between testosterone and your physical health is the size and strength of your muscles. But the bottom line is that if you're not producing optimal amounts of testosterone, then it will be more difficult for you to produce muscle and strength gains after your workout. But again, like is the case with body fat, the relationship between testosterone and muscle growth goes both ways. So if you do have suboptimal levels of testosterone, then taking the steps to lift weights and build muscle will help increase your body's demand for testosterone as well, whereby you might not be building as much muscle and strength in the beginning, but once you get on the right momentum, on the right track, then your body will begin to produce more testosterone as well and that brings us to the causes of low testosterone in men all right what is the real cause behind this generational decline in testosterone levels well there are a number of factors all right now mainstream media and uh, big pharma would have you believe that low testosterone is inevitable with age but as we talked about in the earlier studies the decline that we're facing today is taking place independently of age all right so what's really causing it is lifestyle factors now the biggest factor that's causing this decline is an increase in body fat, all right? So according to recent statistics, in the 1960s, there was about a 13.5% prevalence of obesity in the United States, all right? Fast forward to today, and that number jumps up to more than 35% of men over 20 are suffering from obesity. Now, as we talked about earlier, the relationship between testosterone and body fat, body fat produces an enzyme called aromatase, Aromatase converts testosterone into estrogen. High estrogen leads to a hormonal imbalance whereby it begins to have feminizing effects on your body by reducing the amount of testosterone that it's able to produce. All right, so the number one cause of low testosterone in, in men, according to me and according to uh, the people that I've worked with, is an in, uh, excess body fat. All right, now the second cause, which is probably even more critical is that sleep deprivation, all right? Now, according to the Sleep Foundation, 35% of American adults get less than the eight hours of recommended optimal sleep. But what I've seen is that what's more important than sleep quantity is sleep quality, all right? Now, we've been fucking messing with our hormones, with our smartphones, with our screens, with our TVs and we're not been spending enough time outdoors in the sun and what this leads to is a disruption in your biological clock or your circadian rhythm whereby your body's releasing for example when you look at your screen past dark then that messes with your body's melatonin production melatonin is the hormone that your body produces in natural preparation for sleep but since it's not getting the right environmental influences to produce the right hormones at the right time makes it more difficult for you to get high quality sleep. And since the majority of your sleep is produced, a majority of your testosterone, sorry, is produced while you sleep, a disruption in your sleep cycle leads to a significant disruption in the testosterone production cycle as well. And the third cause of having low levels of testosterone, and this is very prevalent as well, is vitamin and mineral deficiencies. Now, because of the industrialization of food, we've shifted from a food culture that was focused on food quality to a culture that's focused on food 
quantity all right we're eating so much food we literally are at a point in our world where more people are dying from eating too much than are eating from too little and uh, despite this fact the foods that we're eating are deprived of the very vitamins and minerals that we need to function optimally and in a recent study it was found that large portions of the American population are deficient in some key vitamins and minerals like vitamin D, magnesium, vitamin A, vitamin K, vitamin C even to some extent. Yeah, I'll link out to the study which goes over the exact numbers. But the bottom line is that if you're not consuming the vitamins and minerals that your body needs to function optimally, not only will that disrupt a bunch of other functions, but testosterone production will be disrupted as well, all right? And the final cause of low testosterone in men is chronic stress, all right? Whether that's our job, whether that's our finances, whether that's our family obligations, whether that's our freaking punctured tire that we have of our car sitting in our garage, all of us have stuff that we're stressing about, all right? Now, according to a statistic that I read recently, 30, I think it was more than 70, some, I don't remember the exact number, but large portions of the American population report suffering from the symptoms of stress. Now when you're stressed, your body releases a hormone called cortisol. Cortisol is a steroid hormone like testosterone, but it is a catabolic hormone. And uh, although it is a steroid hormone, because of the fact that it's a steroid hormone, it is produced from the same raw materials as testosterone. So what that means is that the higher amounts of cortisol that your body produces, the lower amounts of testosterone that it will be able to produce as well all right so dealing with this stress is probably a primary area of activity that you should focus on and that's what we'll move on to next what steps you can take to naturally optimize your testosterone so before diving into the action steps i just want to recap what we've gone over so far so the first thing we discussed was those two studies that were published in the Journal of Endocrinology and Metabolism that showed the generational decline in testosterone taking place independently of factors such as age, smoking, and obesity as well, all right? Which means that there's some other factors outside of these that are causing this generational decline that's taking place independently of age. And secondly, we went over how this low testosterone epidemic manifests itself, which is mainly through uh, inflicting low energy, low sex drive, and inability to gain muscle and strength, and increase in fat gain, and a decrease in bone mineral dens density as well, all right? So what are the, uh, what is the steps that you can take to increase your testosterone levels? Well, Big Pharma would have you believe that you need to buy their testosterone replacement therapy, that you need to get some injections, some creams, some gels, and uh, just fucking add more testosterone in your body because you're not producing enough. But as we went over before, the real causes of testosterone have very little to do with age and very much to do with how you go about your everyday life, all right? So it would make sense that in order to naturally optimize these levels, we would have to naturally counter the real causes which we discussed earlier. And as we went over, the number one cause that I found in working with the guys one-on-one -on -one and uh, just seeing guys in general as well walking around everyday life is excess body fat, all right? The, the, number one thing you can do to naturally optimize your testosterone levels is to get rid of all those extra inches that you're carrying around your waist. How do you do this? Well, obviously nutrition is the number one thing that you need to focus on, all right? More specifically, the amount of calories that you consume. Now, I'll link out to a bunch of resources that can show you how to best go about calculating the right caloric intake for you. But the bottom line is that in order to lose body fat, you have to be in a state of negative energy balance. An energy balance is the relationship between the amount of calories you consume and the amount of calories that you burn in any given day, all right? So the first step that you need to take in order to naturally optimize your testosterone levels is get in the range of below 15% body fat, and the best way to do this is by consuming at a calorie deficit. Now, the second step you can take to naturally optimize your testosterone levels is to simply correct any of your underlying vitamin and mineral deficiencies. And more specifically, if we talked about in the context of testosterone, vitamin D, which is the leading micronutrient deficiency in Western developed countries, magnesium, which is the second leading micronutrient deficiency in Western developed countries, and 
zinc, all right, which is not really a common deficiency. But if you are an athlete and you sweat a lot and you are not eating enough zinc rich foods and correcting these three uh, vitamins and minerals can have a significant positive impact on your testosterone levels depending on the extent of your current deficiency all right now you can opt for a multivitamin if you are not consuming the right foods then a multivitamin can definitely help and uh, vitamin D you can also opt for a vitamin D3 supplement but I highly recommend that you spend some time outdoors more time than you are right now because uh, ultraviolet light your skin synthesizes vitamin D upon exposure to the sun and there are some foods that are rich in vitamin D but they are not rich enough to provide your body with as much as it needs all right so the second step to uh, optimize your testosterone levels is to correct any of your underlying vitamin and mineral deficiencies now the third step that you can take is to lift some heavy ass fucking weight so we went over how having suboptimal testosterone levels makes it more difficult to gain muscle and strength but you can turn the table on this negative cycle by lifting some heavy ass weights all right so if you are i mean i'll make an entire separate video on how to best go about training for the optimal anabolic response but the bottom line is that you have to gain muscle and strength so what is the most efficient way to build muscle and strength it's by adhering to the fundamental principle of progressive overload all right so slowly but surely making those incremental gains in the gym getting stronger and gaining more muscle and strength so that your body has a increased demand of producing testosterone all right and the final step you can take I mean there are a bunch of steps but these four or five I'm not even sure how many I went over but these steps are what will make the biggest difference and that is to take a breather or like I like to do is mindfulness meditation all right now as we went over Chronic stress is destroying your body's ability to produce optimal levels of testosterone. But having a practice that consciously reduces the amount of cortisol your body produces is a proven way to counter the negative effects of cortisol, all right? So mindfulness practice can be as something like taking a walk in the park, playing a round of golf, even going to the gym for some people, but anything that brings you back to the present moment so that you can get perspective on your life, all right? Now, if you want to get started with meditation, I would recommend you download the app called Oak on your smartphone. It's completely free. Just search for OAK on the App Store. And if you're not sure about how to get started with meditation, then you just plug in your headphones and they'll guide you towards what steps you need to take in order to make this a daily practice in your life life and if you want to dive deeper into the exact steps that i took in order to naturally optimize my testosterone levels from 564 to 902 nanograms per deciliter then i would highly recommend you check out my free seven day email course which goes over every action step that you need to take all right with all that being said this has been mo salim from triplert.com and i'll see you soon